lava started gushing out of Mount Nyiragongo on Saturday night. The volcano is on the edge of Goma, a city of about two million people. The river of molten rock stopped on the outskirts of the city, but not before it destroyed dozens of homes, some of them with people trapped inside. I have lost four people, including my sister-in-law, burned here in the house. For me, what happened here is almost normal, as this is the first time to see this in my life. The last eruption, nearly 20 years ago, did even more damage. Still, this time, some people lost everything they own. We watched the whole neighborhood go up in smoke. The fire came right down to here. Even now we can still see lava. We climbed the volcano four years ago. Wildlife rangers take tourists on trips to the summit. In the crater at the top, you can see the lava lake glowing and feel its heat. It's always simmering, and every so often, it erupts. The foot of an active volcano is not a very safe place for a city, but people living here don't have anywhere else to go. The government's promised to help, but people here don't expect much from the authorities. They failed to give any warning, in spite of volcanologists detecting seismic movements earlier this month. How can it be that a volcano can erupt when the population is still in the city? They should have given us advance notice to vacate. Can you believe the houses are burning when the population is still here? We have lost all our documents, all our education certificates and all because we did not prepare. Thousands of people left the city, mostly on foot, when the eruption began. Many are still scared to go home. Since the eruption, there have been repeated tremors. And people worry that will disturb the volcano and the lava will start flowing again. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera.